All right, it is 15 Minute Fit Fridays. There's no time like the present, so let's get started. You will need some free weights and uh, either a pillow or some blocks um, for when we get down the ground. Let's just warm up our top half of our body. Good, squeezing those glutes. And we're just gonna take it to your right. Breathe. Yes, and then now we're gonna open that shoulder slightly to the ceiling and then contract it and roll to the other side. Good, now open up that shoulder, your right shoulder. You're leaning to your left, hinging over. Good, now open up that right shoulder to the sky and bring everything up. Beautiful. Bring those arms up. We're going to squat all the way down and I'm going to bring the camera back down. So here we go. Feet wider, just slightly wider than hip distance. Come all the way down. Good. Just feel that. Open up those toes. Open up those hips. Good. Now you're going to come down. All right. So now we're going straight away. I want your legs nice and long, straight onto the floor. Uh, in, hip distance apart, and we're just going to put the weights at our chest, and we're going to lift and lower without letting our shoulder blades touch the ground. Good. We're doing 30 here. Yes. And squeeze those backs of the legs, keeping them nice and long toward the floor. And good, we've got 15 more. Good, now 10, give me 10 more. Really press that navel down into your spine. Good. And bring it all the way up. Beautiful work. Now we're gonna go into revolved head to knee. So you're bending your right knee and opening those hips up. Just like that, good. You can bring that heel closer in. And I want you to twist. So we're gonna hinge over to your left. So you're gonna put that left arm across and put that into the, the weight, into the small of your hip. And then you're gonna reach all the way over and hinge here for 10. Breathe, nine. Really opening up this weight here. You're opening up that side body, but this is helping you, remind you to keep that hip down. You can also bend your elbow. You can bend that right elbow. Good. And five more. Five, lift up. Lift and then take it, hinge it over to your left. Right arm is up, breathe, two, and one, and bring it back, good. Now we're coming back, switching legs, left leg comes back, bend it, and you're taking your right arm across your body, putting that weight on the inside of that hip, Weighing that hip down so it stays anchored into the ground. Left arm up or bent. And you're hinging over, really opening up that side body, opening up your upper back, working on those obliques. Good. We're here for 10. Breathe. Extend your spine up and then hinge over. Good. Breathe. And five more. This extra weight is just helping you elongate your spine, elongate that side body. And three more. Three. Two. And one. Breathe, and then lift all the way back up. Beautiful work. Now we're coming into a half 
recline. So you're coming halfway. I want those legs apart just at the hips, in line with those hips. And then from here, you're gonna twist, taking your right arm across the back of your body and just press and bend that elbow. Give yourself a stretch. Taking your left arm across, I'm kind of pushing against the side of my right leg here as I open up my upper back, twist, beautiful. And now the other side, reach your left arm back behind you, across your body behind you, and then you're gonna bend that elbow, press the chest forward, then contract it back as you open up that chest, twist it. Yes. And you'll know why we're doing this in a second. Beautiful work. Last one. It is such a good release for my low back. Now, we're gonna hold our hands in this first ballet position. You're coming halfway down. You, this is the modification. You don't have to come all the way down, so you can stay sort of on an incline, or you can incline further back. And we're just rotating that those elbows from left to right. Good. Stay here, stay with me. Stay focused, you're gonna have a soft bend in those knees. Press that navel back into your spine. Good. Arms are rounded. Breathe. Let's count down 10. We're going to continue with the 10. 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, elbow reaches towards the floor, 3, 2, 1, beautiful work. Let's go for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, keep breathing, three, elbows out, two, and one, good work. Come all the way up. Oh my goodness. Now, what are we doing? We are going into our, this is where I wanted you to have a cushion. We're going into our 45 degree angle. Uh, so we're working the back of the legs and I want you to sit on the pillow um, on your left, outside of your left hip. And then you're gonna bend that front leg in front of you. Back leg is bent behind you. You can reach forward, or you can stay sitting nice and tall if you have the strength in your low back. This is up to you, and you for you to determine. Uh, so you can start here, and we're just gonna lift and lower. Yes, we've got 30 here. Really squeeze that glute. Yes, squeeze it up and lower up. Yes, let's go 20 more. Pull that navel in as well. Nice long spine. Keep breathing. And 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Now you're gonna take it to the side and back for 10. Seven, six, five. You can twist slightly and look over your left shoulder. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Now readjust, and we're gonna start try to take that leg off the floor 
and then just straighten it for 10. It's really a lot of work, just extending that leg nice and straight and keeping it off the ground, even if it's just slightly, even if it's skimming the floor, that's okay too. It's gonna be working. Your back, outer hips, and glutes. And five, four, three, good, two, and one. Beautiful work, hold it, switching sides. Try to keep this under 15 minutes or 15, a little bit over, but we'll see. So bend that front leg, your front right leg is bent, and get your center, there we go. Now lift that back leg up, and we're gonna lift for 30. Good. Extend, that leg is nice, it's bent on a 45 degree angle, and it's lifting and lowering as you extend your spine, either away from the back leg, giving yourself a little bit more room to lift that leg, or up toward the sky. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, good, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're taking it to the side and back. Good. 10 here. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now try to incline your body forward. We're extending that leg back nice and straight. And 10, bend, extend, nine, yes. And as you extend, really squeeze that glute. Good, seven, six, that knee is turned out, five, toes are pointed, four, good, extend, and if you can, give it a little lift, yes. Three, up, bend, out, two, lift, extend that leg, back out, up, good, and up, back, bend it, and last one, we'll extend it straight, 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 oh yeah, oh, good job, all right, coming down off of the cushion, we are coming into a side plank. I want it with a modification. So, shoulder in line with that wrist. You're gonna put the bottom leg, your bottom right leg, out straight. Flex those feet, those toes on your right leg, and you're taking your left leg in front. Okay, we're gonna stretch by lowering those hips, and then we're gonna prop them up, and you can, for extra bonus points, you can use the weight to give you a little extra challenge. So you're pressing up against that weight. Yes. 10. 9. 8. And if you can, if you want to, you can also come down onto your forearm here if it's too much on your wrist. Three, lower those hips to get that stretch and pop them up. Oh, that's hard work. Come all the way down here, pop them up. Good. Yes, beautiful work. Come all the way down with control. Place the weight aside. Give yourself a little stretch here. You can move the arm out further. You can bend and extend and just relax into that stretch. Think of rotating the shoulders up and stretch. Good, good, good. Breathe. 
And now we're taking it to the other side. Release that leg down, take it behind you. And we're swiveling those legs onto the other side. And we're coming into our other side plank. So you're gonna have your left arm down, fingers facing forward, or you're coming on your forearm if it's too much on your wrist. Bottom leg nice and straight, lift those hips, then take that leg in front of you. Make sure that this, yeah, I need to move my arm forward. Make sure that it's in line with that shoulder, keeping you nice and balanced. Lower those hips, feel that stretch in your left side body. Good, and then pop it up. Yes, this front leg is bent on the floor, helping you balance. Good. And you can add the weight. One side always tends to be stronger than the other or more flexible than the other. That's okay. That's just why we're doing everything on both sides. I'm trying to create more balance. Good. Up. Lower. Press it up. Take it down, take that stretch. Yes, enjoy it, and then strength training. Lift it up, good, up, yes. And four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. You're gonna lower those hips nice and slow. Release that top right leg. Extend that arm out and just give yourself that nice and easy stretch. I like to press my hips slightly forward and open up my chest. You can keep that leg bent. If you want to bring your arm behind you, then bend that top leg for support. Oh. Yes, well done everyone. You made it to the end of our 15 minute Fridays, ooh, 17. Good job, everyone. I hope to see you all very soon, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Take care.